Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens and we just arrived to the Danube Delta of Romania and this is where the Danube River flows into the Black Sea and it's a very biodiverse area. Starting, it's this af late in the afternoon and then tonight and especially tomorrow we are gonna focus on the fish and the food of the Danube Delta and we're gonna be taking boats around, we're gonna visit places along the way and especially eat some amazing food and Danube Delta Adventure begins right now. We're about to jump on the boat. Loading into the boat now. Ah. Oh yeah, and we'll be protected from the wind. Micah. Hello, Marcel. Mark, nice okay. to meet you. An hour on Green Village. Wow. Transfer. Ready, guys? Yes, yes. Adventure! Woo, yes, that's cool, cool air, that's for sure. Welcome to the Black Sea. All of a sudden because there's, you don't have, well in the back you have tree lines and islands, but looking forward it's so eerie and kind of cloudy. We just arrived at the dock. We're really close to the base of the Black Sea, but we're gonna stay at this uh, eco lodge. It's so peaceful here. Only way to get here is either by helicopter or a 45 minute boat ride. Um, and this is where we're gonna be staying, but I'm gonna get a lot more shots tomorrow morning when it's uh, light so that we'll be able to see this whole area. But it is just spectacularly beautiful and peaceful here. Wow. This place is amazing. We're overlooking, we're, this, it's just spectacularly beautiful. First thing that we're gonna do now is go to dinner. <laughs> no, no, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's been a few hours. This is an eco lodge, but it has a very safari feel to it. I love the wood, the peacefulness of this place. But yeah, we're all sitting down for dinner. They brought us this huge plate of appetizers. There's fish eggs. There's wow. What is that? Brought out some more dishes, including the a centerpiece, which is a pike. Um, stiffed. stiffed and it's kind of like made into like almost like a, a roll almost that looks incredible and I love the presentation the royal family of yes. Romania in Mochin wines Mochin. Mochin is the city okay yes and it's one of the top wines of Romania yes Oh, we made it to Danube Delta, so happy to be here. Uh, I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to begin with one of the fish balls. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. So this bread is actually uh, Ukrainian in origin with potato on the inside, but I'm going to try it with some of the zakuska, which is made with fish. Oh yeah. I love zakuska. I've eaten it every day in Romania, but so many different variations. And it's like a combination of different roasted vegetables, eggplant and tomato and onions, and this one has fish in it. It's wonderful. Pike fish is stuffed. Yeah, that is wonderful. I don't even know what to stuff with, but kind of like a little bit bready with some of the onions or some of the salad. Also from the cold appetizer dishes is like a, a type of herring, I think. Yeah, some pickled, preserved, sour, and I love that. 
Okay, so I'm down in the kitchen now just watching Chef as he just assembles the main dish. It's gonna be all fish, which I love. I'm a big fish lover, so a couple of different types of fish with some polenta, I believe, and then some pickles. He's dressing like... Oh man, that is huge. Four different types of fish all on a massive platter. Potato. Nice. Oh man, three different fish. And this is probably the centerpiece. This is one of the greatest fish ever. entire fried fish. Oh, it's just like flavor, crunchy, delicious. <laughs> so the main course is served. Chef instructed me to taste it with garlic, but the two different fish, one is the carp, one is the turbot, and I have to begin with uh, some of that garlic sauce. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. The freshness with the garlic like cream. Wow, that's wonderful. Okay, and then this one is uh, a carp, which is marinated in some type of a, it looks like a tomatoey sauce. Mm. Oh wow, it's wonderful too. And that like, that marinade, that sauce on top is just kind of caramelized on the fish. It's tomatoey, it was a little bit tart. And maybe chili, but not spicy. Mm. Good morning. I'm so happy to wake up this morning to see this place in the light. Uh, we are on the, the Danube River Delta and just this entire green village, which is the name of this uh, eco lodge that we're staying at, it's just surrounded by water. And actually, I didn't know this, it's actually part of a local village. It's here, which is just surrounded by water. And this is a biosphere here. It's a reservation. It's preserved uh, because of the amazing bird life, the amazing flora and fauna, the amazing amount and diversity of fish as well. Um, and so this is a whole national park in Romania and one of the best preserved. So I just want to show you exactly where we are on the map so that you get a, a perspective. Uh, so the Danube River is one of the most important rivers. It is the longest river in Central Europe. Uh, it begins in Germany at the Black Forest, that's the source, and then flows all the way through, through Europe, through Central Europe, and then this is where it discharges into the Black Sea, where the, this is the Delta. And so, hugely important river for Europe, and it's such an honor, it's so cool to be here. Okay, and if... This is a little creaky, but can you hear all of the frogs? <laughs> it's a nature paradise, and I can't wait to start eating. Like this. <laughs> awesome. So we're ready? Ready. Okay, yes, and we are off on the boat. Yeah, yeah, we're in two boats. The open, fresh air. And this is a, also, okay, two main things that the Danube Delta is known for is bird watching. And wait for it, wait for it, is it coming? There's, wait for it. Yes. I think you can see that. So many beautiful birds flying overhead. And then also for fishing because of the biodiversity and the, yeah, there's so many species of fish as well. And we're getting like such perfect weather today. It's sunny, it's beautiful, it's so clear. It's the best when you start getting off into these side waterway alleys, these narrow alleys and lagoons. The supply and abundance of fish. So we're gonna try our luck. This is the first spot. Or try our luck fishing. Earthworms. Earthworms. Okay. Line something like this. So there's no there's no reel on this fishing pole, just straight 
straight pole and line. We were hoping. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I have a fish here. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I want a bigger fish. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Navigating down some small channels of water, just surrounded by reeds on either side. Little and so peaceful, so beautiful. We're looking for the perfect spot to to dock to have breakfast. We missed you guys. <laughs> we missed you guys. <laughs> That's it. The traditional table for the boat. She's strong man to do that. Yes, I love that. <laughs> the best, and the juices come out. Yes, of course. So gourmet <laughs> breakfast in the delta on a small channel surrounding by nature. They opened up this whole package of food. There's eggs, there's vegetables, smoked fish. Yes, it's Danube yeah. mackerel. Danube mackerel. Yeah. Awesome. There's the fish balls, there's bread. Mark? Thank you. Some fire water. Fire water. <laughs> no rock. No rock. No rock. <laughs> yes. Always before your first bite of food. The fish has to swim. It's quite soft. Okay, cool. We have some. And a smashed <laughs> onion. Okay, so the Danube mackerel salted and smoked, cold smoked with some of the bread with some onions. Mm. Tweak. Tweak, no? No. And you can crunch on the bones too because they're smoked them. They're tough enough to eat. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Food or something Common like fishermen this. breakfast. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, some of the stuffed pike. Mm. Huh? <laughs> okay, cucumber with some of the cheese. Mm. Wonderful. Highlight for me is uh, the smoked down in mackerel with the smashed onion. What a combo. Mm -hmm. It is like fish salami. Are the Danube River and its estuaries. Black Sea. Welcome to the Black Sea. And then you, you can even see where the, it's like a line almost, where the sea begins, where it starts to get rougher, where you can see it's darker, and just the birds. And this is not even the season for the birds. A lot of the birds have migrated already, but you can still see the, there's tons of birds and beautiful pelicans and, And we are back to the resort. We're stopping here, but it's this is actually the beginning of the next food activity. Fresh. What's the name of the fish soup? Ah, in, in Romania. In Romanian, it's in Romanian. Ciorba de pește. Ciorba de pește. Yeah. Okay. First step, potatoes, onions, and peppers Rough go in. Meat. And that's just the fire is blazing, the water is boiling, a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt inside the water. The aroma of it is really close to celery, but also like a coriander in there as well. For the fish, there's pike, chunks of catfish, and also carp. Fish goes in, and now some tomato paste, or you can use fresh tomatoes too, but it's not the tomato season. Yes, and so some wine vinegar goes in. That's an essential ingredient, and immediately you smell that vinegary sourness. Ah, that's boiling away now. Some of this. Yeah, fish soup is just about ready. Another thing that you gotta eat with the fish is a garlic 
Mike Sauce. Voice cooking. And so we are sitting down now overlooking this is like a channel of water but kind of like a lagoon and starting out the fish soup yeah. is almost ready <laughs> time, Narok. Narok. time to Narok, Narok. again Narok. <laughs> are just the appetizers. The soup is almost on its way, but we're gonna start now. This one is hamsi, this is the anchovies. Mm. I love anchovies. Those are salted, preserved, kind of pickled. Yeah, salty, but so good. Yeah. Like some roasted eggplant. Mm. It's so smoky and creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I want to try some of that caviar. And then some of the, this is the pike caviar mixed with kind of a, an oil, I think, to make a cream with onions. And you can see the little caviar in there. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Salata de herring. And that one is the carp caviar. Yeah, the same like creamy consistency. It has a bit of a different flavor for sure. Um, mm. And this one is a Danube herring, like what we had for breakfast, I think. But this is a pickled kind of mix with some tomatoes, some peppers. Mm. That is wonderful. Okay, and it is time for the fish soup now. So ways that the fishermen traditionally eat it is you boil everything together, but then you take out the fish and the chunks of vegetables like the potatoes, and you eat those first, and then you drink the soup or you eat the soup. Uh, so first you take out all the fish. Straight clip from the professional fisherman nets. Yes. This one is ready. This one is the catfish. Yes. catfish. So all three different types of fish. There's the pike, there's catfish and carp all boiled together in this beautiful soup. And you can, he made that garlic sauce with garlic and a little bit of oil, pounded that together with and added some of the soup into that sauce, which you can use for your fish as well. Mm. Mm. It's such a firm hearty fish. It will be really good with some of that garlic sauce. The carp with the garlic sauce. Mm. <laughs> oh, the garlic sauce is incredible. Oh, that's so good because it brings out that vibrancy of flavor, that punch of flavor, the fresh garlic, the, the saltiness. And the catfish is the, the fattiest, oiliest, the, the texture is mm -hmm. wonderful. And then with that garlic sauce. Amazing. So good, thank you. You're welcome. And then the actual, the soup broth has that, that hint of sourness from the vinegar and from the tomatoes, that tartness from the tomatoes. And it's really like amazingly fresh because the fish is fresh, so it's not like fishy at all. It's just... That's just hearty and delicious and simple and rustic and like everything you want in a fisherman's soup. And you can, I mean, this is a recipe that he's preserved. This is a, just a traditional way that they would make it in this Danube Delta in this region. Just fishermen with fish, with the vegetables that they can get, with the the vinegar that they have on hand. And this is simple deliciousness as you can get. Mm. <laughs> and that garlic just makes all the difference. Oh, what a meal. <laughs> We are on a boat, this time a bit of a bigger boat. We're heading back to the main port where we got dropped off, where we took the boat yesterday. And from there, we're gonna drive a little ways somewhere and have another Danube Delta food something that I'm not even sure yet. We're gonna find out. 
Oh yeah, this is fantastic. This is actually like a Danube bus, a Danube River bus cruising along at 60 kilometers per hour and it's a smooth ride. And we made it back to the port. This is where we first started and from here we're gonna drive for about 45 minutes I believe to the next place. We are actually further, quite a bit further south. We're still on the delta and it's uh, getting to be, and actually we're close to the Black Sea and it's just about sunset. Uh, but we've arrived to this place. I think it's a restaurant where we're gonna have one final meal. Hi, Mark. Hello, nice Mark. to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll get used with uh, our uh, palinka. So, uh, <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So, there's no welcome in Romania without First dish is ready. He seared off that Xander fish um, and then topped it with grilled chilies, roasted chilies, and then a tomato, like a chunky tomato sauce. The Danube Delta, which is a fabulous place. Thank you very much. Nice to meet yeah. you. Pretty. Uh, yes. Lisa. A special person. Just cool people, cool environment. Just, it's a happy place. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Anchovy salad. Let, let them. It's great. Black sea anchovies salted with tomatoes with onions. Mm. Oh, that's spectacular. Oh, the perfect contrast of salty anchovies, onions, juicy tomatoes. How is this one? Superb. <laughs> okay, and then there's grilled Xander with the chilies with the tomatoes. Mm. Just the freshness and the quality of that. Oh, it's wonderful. Mm. They're both superb. But for me, the most special one is the anchovy. Mm. Wow, so good. <laughs> Next dish has arrived, this is sea snails. Mm. Oh yeah, the like slight bitterness quality of it, the chewiness, the, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's, I love it. Caviar has arrived. And I believe this is the carp caviar with the, the oil-based sauce and a little bit of acid to make it that, again, yeah. We've had this actually earlier, but this looks insane. Mm. Oh, wow. That's like cheesy, almost. And with the onions to cut the richness. Mm. Oh, that's like caviar cheese, <laughs> melted cheese. Mm. <laughs> it's all just like bar counter, open kitchen, outdoor shack style. They've created such a wonderful social dining experience that's so much, that, along with unbelievably delicious food is incredibly fun. You're right. <laughs> You're <Yes>. right. <laughs> it's not. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oops. I split it in uh, portions, yeah? So it's... <laughs> Next up, this is a sturgeon soup, but prepared in kind of like the tripe soup style. Sturgeon soup, wow. 
Mm, okay. Mm. It has some little crunchy yes, bones in it, but yes, the creaminess, the, oh, the I think the dill in that soup. <laughs> mm. Mm. The dishes are just coming out of control now. The whole fish, the frog legs, which he uh, stir fried up in some garlic and some butter, I believe, and then topped it with caramelized onions. And then this is like fried carp, and you have to cut it, then you can eat the bones like that. That's amazing. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah, hi, yeah. And it is the frog's leg time. You can just, oh, that, the smell the garlic. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so tender and not muscular, despite it looking like a, a flexed muscle. Mm. Well, it is muscular, just soft, tender, muscular. Oh, wow. That is finger licking good. Yeah. Okay, let's try it now. Crucial card filet, tinka tinka filet. Massive platter of fried fish, dipping, always dipping garlic. Are they going to fill the fusion? Right? Like maybe like cornmeal on the outside, then fried with the garlic. <laughs> so good. Everything is so good. <laughs> you hear an accordion coming from the from the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying wedding. Is the wedding coming to us? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. A local choir from this village. second of this <laughs> but uh, this village is actually a Russian community and so these are Russian folk songs that they preserve in their culture <laughs> that footwork I'm in tears <laughs> After you will uh, taste it. There's more food. This is stuffed peppers with fish. <laughs> the food just, it doesn't end. Mm. I think there's rice in the middle of that too. And then the pepper is sweet. Mm. But then there is a the spicy pepper on the side. I think you can pair it with the sweet pepper. Well, that has a little bit of heat to it. It's just an absurd amount of food. A ridiculous. The oh, the fish with the flambe and the cognac and the and mussels. Oh, okay, I'm sitting back at the picnic table. <laughs> it never ends. See the flavor? Yeah. yeah, the sweetness of the cognac. Cognac, yeah. Mm. I'm curious, how is this sauce? <laughs> and the mussels. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you.
Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just still in tears of joy and happiness. What a grand finale to this just extraordinary day in the Danube Delta. Uh, learning about culture, learning about the food, amazing food. Massive thank you to my friend Nassim and Christian and Kalin for setting everything up and to all of our local hosts here in the Danube Delta. This was an adventure of food, incredible food, incredible fish, and culture, and yes, thank you. What a place. Um, I'll have all the information, everything we did, every place we went to in the description box so you can see all the information. And I'm gonna end the video now. From here, we head back to Bucharest. Thanks again for watching, and be sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos, and I will see you on the next video.